Hello and welcome back to linuxjobber.com where we prepare you for Linux jobs. My own name is Sean May Joseph and my email is showpopulous at gmail.com. If you have any questions, please send them to me and I'll be sure to respond to your email. Today I will be talking about backup systems. And why am I talking about backup systems today? Because it turns out on interviews, a lot of people stumble on backups. Think of it this way. If you have music or photos on your machine you want them back up backed up don't you the same thing companies have very important data and they want to make sure that whichever system administrator they hire is able to back up their systems adequately so you should learn how to back up very well before you go for interviews now there are many ways to back up a system so what i did was that i went to google and i just typed in free linux backup program that is just to um, say, okay, let's just pick up a backup program, a free one, so that we can learn how to backup. And then when I click on um, this one here that has a whole bunch of them, it says 10 outstanding Linux backup utilities. And I'm just going to pick one of the 10. Now, I have gone through this before, and I'll tell you which one I picked. So I went through this. I see Bacula. It's just the number two on the list, right? And it's a powerful Linux backup solution. Um, is truly enterprise ready and that is one of the reasons that you can choose Bacula because like it says it's truly enterprise ready meaning that you can take it and you can use it it's complex it's robust um, and it will work for you so now the video might the video will be too long if I try to explain how Bacula works and also configure Bacula at the same time so what we will do is that here's what we'll do we'll go to our website here linuxjobber.com if you go to linuxjobber.com and you click on uh, fundamentals video fundamentals lecture you see this lecture notes here and if you go down here you know what I think it's in a proficiency so it's proficiency and if you click on the number one here you will see this video that I'm that we're watching and if you click on number two here then you will see the configuration part so what's happening is that I'm switching the I'm breaking the video into two parts so it's not too long all right so now let's start with explanation of Bacula so that we can understand how Bacula really works so here's the image that I drew so that you can understand it a lot of people have problems with backup systems or Bacula in particular they think it's difficult just because they don't understand how Bacula works now for you to understand Bacula remember that you start out everything starts out with the backup directory right here director I'm sorry to say backup director right here everything starts out with the backup director now everything that you're going to do as in um, scheduling a job or restoring a job everything you want to do in Bacula is called a job it's a job now if you do a backup job in Bacula meaning you schedule a recurring backup so let's say for instance you want to back up every Saturday at 2 p.m. you put all of that into some configuration file and call it job one or backup one or whatever you want to call it now you will go and go to sleep or do whatever else you want to do and whenever Bacula is ready whenever that time comes Bacula runs that backup job and this is the way it happens so when that backup job runs it goes into what they call the, the uh, file daemon which is just the machine you want to back up which is called Bacula FD right so now so let's say you are backing up client 1 and client 2 job 1 is going to back up client 2 every Saturday at 2 p.m. so when it's Saturday 2 p.m. job 1 runs it goes into um, it goes into the client number two where Bacula FD is already running. Bacula FD means Bacula file daemon. For, for us to say daemon, it means that there's a service running on the client already. And I'll show you how to configure this daemon. The director also has a daemon. I'll show you how to configure that daemon also. So when that Saturday at 2 p.m. comes and the job one is going to run, the director the daemon connects with the 
daemon on the client that you that it wants to back up it says please back up show pc when it backs up show pc it's not going to bring it back to the director we're going to specify a server for it to put in and then in most situations in most cases in most companies you back up to like a file server right so we can simply just call this one a file server so this is a file server in most company where they keep a, a, a lot of their company information where their data exists already usually this is usually a very huge um it's usually a very huge system meaning it has a lot of disk space for storage so all it does in job one is that it goes to show pc it backs up everything you want it to back up and it stores it inside the storage daemon now inside this job one as part of the um the the backup job you specify what you want to back up on show pc and again in the configuration of the bacula daemon i'll show you how to do that so it goes into show pc and it sucks up whatever you want it to back up and it keeps it inside file server and when it's done putting it inside file server what's going to happen how are we going to know what we backed up and how are we going to retrieve it what bacula does is that it connects with mysql database so my, my back uh, bacula always use a database to index files to store what it has done so what's going to happen is that every information it backed up here is going to keep it inside a database so you have to have data, the mysql database running for bacula to work properly so now that's how job one runs now job two is about the same thing and however many clients you have now all these jobs are going to sit inside the bacula director configuration file so this is the configuration file let me put the brackets in there so that you see so you open the bracket and you have to specify job one job two oh yeah and then you have to specify client one client one so that it knows which client and then client two because otherwise it doesn't know the clients inside the configuration file and you have to close the configuration file now now that you now that you have specified everything this is going to go in our configuration file and i'll show you how that is done this is bacula director configuration file now the bacula file daemon it also has its own it also has its own um, configuration file and you open the bracket you type it er, type in everything you specify the file server and the bacula director information so that everybody is not logging into your clients and backing up you have to give them permission so you have to specify the bacula director that is coming you have to give it the root password and uh, some other information and i'll show you how to do that so in this case here we call this one the file daemon configuration file this other client is also going to have its own separate configuration file it's going to have its own separate configuration file where it specifies the director and the file server and every other information it needs and then the storage daemon also has its own configuration file where it specifies again the bacula director the bacula director the files to back up and the clients and all other information it needs every one of them has it now they will specify not just the bacula director i just put that as a sample there are many other things that they will specify again this is how bacula works and that's how it's laid out and then if you want to do a restore job again this is a, just another job as i said before so let's just call this one job number three let me put it over here job three so let's say you want to do a restore you do your restore as a job and it goes into the database it looks at the index and it knows what has been stored if you want to retrieve job one it will store the date the time the files is stored and everything and then if you choose to do a restore it pushes right back on this side here and then it pushes back to where it got the, the information from or wherever you want it to point to so it'll just go back the other way so now there's one way going this way and then restore is back this way that's how bacula works so uh please don't get uh, confused and don't say that bacula um 
configuration is complicated because it's actually very easy but the problem is that a lot of people don't understand how it is laid out and how it works and obviously if you don't understand how it's laid out it's going to be uh, very difficult if not impossible to understand how it truly works so in the next video then we will go and configure all these um, daemons meaning that we just write this configuration file we put this configuration file we put this configuration file we put this configuration file um, and then we turn on the mysql database and you just watch it run and it becomes very easy once you have done it now why do i concentrate on backup because it's a big part of interviews um, without backup i'm not sure if um I don't think it'll be easy for anyone to get a sysadmin job without truly understanding backups and uh, having a good backup plan. So if you do need to, all you have to do is come down here to uh, tutorials, proficiency number two, and then go under lecture notes. You click on number two and you will see how everything works. Once you see the video of how everything works, it becomes very, very simple for you. Well, this is all for today. Thank you very much.